from the public and we hope that this will bring more people to the island, make them more aware and we are bringing a lot of foreign uh, pilot and I'm sure this pilot, they are very interesting group of people, they're very curious people and I'm sure they will come back again and they will bring more of their friends here. Some of them have been here, that's why some of them are very excited when we invited them to fly in Penang. So we said that it's a bit tricky to fly here, they said they will take the risk. And who be tricked, I don't know. 
So we will, there will be some balloon that will fly, but not from Panagolo, uh, Youth Park, because there is more, uh, more, more. Uh, there's uh, some distance for it to fly, and hopefully we'll get the right wind and we'll land safely in a right padang. The tourism numbers are. Uh, I think even though we have increased throughout the year, but we see uh, uh, cooling off during the last month. And I think tourism agrees that uh, last month, December, somehow was not as good as last year. Uh, I think it's not only, uh, I think some states are very bad actually. It's me from Tensei, uh, from Pahang. Very bad. Yeah, very bad. And then even Abawi also, I heard that Sabah and that. Some states are very bad. Penang is in the sense that the hotels either show marginal improvement or remain the same. So she's actually in terms of increase, which is uh, for Penang is always growing. So we do not understand why other ones are growing, but suddenly December they are growing off. I do not know whether Air Asia uh, disaster has an impact now, but that was at the end of the year. So we are just wondering, and of course it is uh, brought over in January, it's slow in January. I think worse than last year generally. So uh, this could be because of the Air Asia flight disaster. So we are, it could be very challenging to be very, to be very frank. Penang uh, generally, our number of tourists uh, increased compared to other states because we are not as very affected by uh, the drop in Chinese tourists. Penang, our numbers are not as big as other states. But uh, still, uh, the overall drop in uh, tourists is something of concern. I think we need to work harder to get them to come and also focus on uh, ASEAN and uh, domestic tourists. So that's why this event is important. Uh, I believe that the numbers uh, last year will show there's an increase in. Have you got the latest numbers? Uh -huh. Maybe you can share with us. Malaysia tourist arrival yeah, by country or by nationality yeah. in yeah. October. Oh, I said October. October. Yeah. October. Maybe you got the total number. The total yeah. number, yeah? Compared to last yeah, year's October. Okay, uh, previous October we received 20.8 million and 2014 October we received 22.8 million. That's it. Yeah, from uh, I don't have by state yet, yeah. only by uh, country. Uh, yeah. Penang, we do only receive uh, for the hotel guests until uh, June, yeah? January to June, uh, we receive 3.1 million. So expecting to double up until uh, December. We are still waiting for. It is better for than last year, lah. Yes, it is better than last year. Uh, Phoenix is one of the best spots for tourism mm -hmm. for Malaysia, isn't it? Yes. Uh, in compared to other states, uh, yeah. we are badly affected. Phoenix, uh, we, we are still growing. Maybe not as much, but we are still positive growth, lah. Compared to other states, which are negative growth. Mm -hmm. So, so generally, we are better. But as I said, it's very challenging. It's very challenging, and uh, that's why we need to have more events in order to attract. Uh, tourists and uh, these are new events. Some people think outside the box. Uh, we are also going to have some, we have not announced the main concerns. Okay. So, as I said, we have every time we have more events planned out together with uh, Prism Malaysia. Uh, we have promised last week we will support the year of festival by organizing more events. Josh Festival is in August, so we hope that uh, the press can help us by also publicizing this event because this is. There are very few states doing hot air balloon festival now, except for Putrajaya, they still do it now. But very few states doing it, I think, we never come from Putrajaya or other states, sir? Uh, no, no. Only, uh, previously we did once in Kedah. Uh, no, no, but maybe uh, Putrajaya also uh, don't do it. This year only Putrajaya, no, much. Only Putrajaya. So apart from Putrajaya, the only other state that does hot air balloon festival is Penang. Yeah, so that's why I say... Before Penang... Uh, no, I'm talking, about, I'm talking about uh, regular. Yeah. But now you have it, so you can capture the northern market. The last time Putrajaya, yeah, we hope to capture the <laughs> whole market if possible. <laughs> la. but, we, that, but that's our our uh, show of supporting Putrajaya. So we may have differences in other areas, but if SAR has hot air balloon, we support Putrajaya. <laughs> so that's why you have one in Putrajaya, we'll have one in Okay, any questions?